Hey everybody! I'm driving so I'm not going to be able to read what is on my screen, but um, I was going to scope my book and the book that I'm scoping is mine! Ours will be different is my story with my husband and see him in the cute he was such a great man I'm on my way to the bank and I wanted to do a broadcast I'm sorry I'm not gonna be able to read your comments or anything I'm only five hearts away from 40,000 so up them hearts so I can get to 40,000 today all I need is five hey, hey I can't read who's joining because I'm driving but I did want to say hi to y'all and tell you about a great love story and it's Bill and Cricket Boyd. I'm Cricket and Bill was my husband and he's in heaven now. I'm getting ready to stop at a stoplight so maybe I can read something. Um, this is a true story. Uh, my husband and I met when we were 15, 14, 15 years old and he became a quadriplegic when he was 40 years old. There's our book as you can see. Yay! I don't see any comments. I don't see any hearts. Like I said, I'm only five hearts away from 40,000. Yay! But this is a true love story. And you can go to boydministry.com and you can see our story. And it'll tell you all about it. It says that there are two people in here. And uh, this is a fantastic story. This is him when he was pastoring in Tennessee. And this is when he became a quad. Uh, being a quad means you're paralyzed from here down. And there's a whole lot of stuff. I put a lot of pictures in here so you never get bored while you're reading. And um, it takes you through the ups and the downs of what we went through. You know, you go through life and you're running your own business. And then all of a sudden everything stops. And your life is no more and Billy fell February 11th 1999 and he was a pastor of a church and he was running his own business and then somebody dropped him from 30 foot in the air I'm watching the light and the traffic and um, dropped him 30 foot straight down onto the sidewalk and he hit his head right on the edge of the sidewalk, therefore splitting from ear to ear, and it went this away, and brain matter came out and everything, and they gave him a 0% chance of living, but I got on the phone and started calling people and begging people to pray, and God's people began to pray, and um, if you hold on to your Bible, hold on God's Word, and get the people that you know are on their knees, and they trust God the same way that you do, and you get them down on the knees, and you get those little mamas praying for somebody, there's gonna be some, actually, I gotta put my glasses down. Anyway, people began to pray, and after 32 days, he came around. Um, pretty much mentally, he was still having a lot of short-term memory loss and everything. I'm sorry, I can't read your comments or anything. Like I said, I'm only five hearts away from uh, 40,000, so send those hearts up. If you want to share with everybody but um, he was in the hospital for a straight nine months and went to rehab and bucos of things in total from the time that he fell in February 99 until he passed away in September uh, 2014 he was in the hospital over three years total and boy did I learn so much medical stuff I became an RN by learning not by earning and I even taught some RNs how to do the bowel program that's where you make somebody go to the bathroom and I remember one of the first questions I said what to them was how does he go to the bathroom and she goes uh, I make him and I thought, how in the world do you make somebody go to the bathroom well they told me they taught me and I knew how to make somebody or the bathroom and then I said how do you turn him and she said very very carefully you know we have to tilt the body because we can't twist the spine and we can't move his neck because it was broken uh, in the neck and it was actually 
uh, broken five places in the neck and in the spine. He did not have a spinal cord uh, severance. He had a complete compression from top to bottom, so it completely compressed the spine, therefore rendering all nerves from here down gone. <clears throat> And some of the quadriple uh, quadriplegic, excuse me, um, they can open their eyes, they can breathe, they can talk, they can swallow. Hi, whoever's on there, I can't see the phone's too far away and I'm at a stoplight and driving, so I'm so sorry. But I see that there are three people, I'm only five hearts away from 40,000, so send up the hearts. But he could open his eyes, he could breathe, talk, swallow. That was it. Everything that needed to be done for my husband, I had to do. Everything. So when you wake up tomorrow morning, open your eyes, breathe, talk, and swallow. And you've done everything that my husband was able to do. Well, I'm almost at the bank, and so I'm going to have to stop this real quick. But I did want to come in and say thank you so much for your love and your support. I appreciate the hearts. If you sent some up, I thank you. I was five away from 40,000. I will continue this and tell you a little bit more, but think about those people that are in a wheelchair. You see how close I live to my bank? <laughs> think about those people that live in a wheelchair and um, don't overlook them. Look them straight in the eye and give them a smile. You don't have to stop. You, thank you for the heart. Thank you. You don't have to stop what you're doing you don't have to have a long conversation just smile at them and let them know hey I'm proud of you and I'm so glad you're here and thank you for getting out you're encouraging me by being out and showing if you can get out then so can I have a great day thank you sweetheart you're too far away from me to see who it is I love the hearts thank you so much for the green hearts I have one minute to go in but um I wanted to say thank you, and I love y'all so much, and I'll come back and talk to you soon. Bye.